Hey everyone, welcome back for another movie reaction. Wow, did you guys really like my holy grail reaction? Or a lot of people just clicked on it to make fun of me for not having seen it yet. Anyway, if you guys couldn't tell, I loved that movie and since I watched it, I have quoted so many of my favorite lines. Some of my favorite hits are, help, help, I'm being repressed. Alongside my number one favorite line, I fought in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries is another one that I cannot stop laughing at when I think about it. But today I am finally jumping in and watching Monty Python's Life of Brian for the very first time. The only movie that I have ever known to exist before starting this reaction channel was Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Never knew that Life of Brian existed or the other one. The awkward triplet. What is the third one even called? There's actually a TV show as well. Oh, it looks like the third movie is called Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. That one also has amazing reviews. Are we gonna do the trifecta here? Back to Life of Brian, I am going into this with even less expectations than I had for Holy Grail. I don't know a darn thing about this one. I don't even know if I've heard any lines from this. The only thing I know is what I read from the really short synopsis that I found. I think it has something to do with some dude named Brian being born around the same time as Jesus. I also should let you know that I'm not very familiar with anything religion related. I took like one religion class in college. Besides that, I know nothing, so hopefully this movie can somewhat educate me. Well, educate me and make fun of whatever they're trying to educate me on. Can I get a high five from all the Monty Python fans out there? Come on, don't leave me hanging. Don't leave- please don't leave me hanging. Okay, thank you. I feel better now. Alright, let's jump in and watch Life of Brian. Ooh. I was gonna do a sound check, but this is so good. We're just gonna keep going. Also, if we don't get a funny French guy in this movie, I will be upset. Ooh, are they following the star? That was a really cool intro. Oh, <gasps> puppy, he's so cute. It's a donkey. <laughs> Every time I see a donkey in a movie, I think of Shrek. I can't help it. A baby! Get in my belly! I'm sorry. <laughs> <gasps> well, what are you doing creeping around the car at two o'clock in the morning? <laughs> We were led by a star. Led by a bottle more like. <laughs> led by a bottle more like. <laughs> well, why didn't you say he's over there? Oh, that's so funny. Well, what is he then? Hmm? What star sign is he? Gemini? Capricorn. <gasps> Damn. King of the Jews. Well, that's Capricorn, is it? <laughs> oh, no, that's just him. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, otherwise there'd be a lot of them. <gasps> That's so funny. Brian! We the astrology joke. And to the Lord our Father. Amen. Amen. Do a lot of this baby has no oh, idea what it's involved in. No, no. <laughs> uh, but don't worry too much about the myrrh next time, alright? <laughs> More frankincense. Less myrrh, please. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry! Oh, you forgave me! <laughs> Oh my god, it was the hand to face. The, the, oh, that's that's so funny. <laughs> what a great start. I am hooked. That was awesome. The babe they call Brian. The babe they call Brian. Grew up to be. Grew up to be what? We had arms and legs. I hope so. And head. Uh, yeah. Whose name was Brian. A human baby boy with arms and legs and feet and hands. I hope so. Ooh, that vibrato. 
a teenager. Why? His voice dropped out. Oh, he went through puberty. Oh. No girl named Brian. No girl named Brian. What? Hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> Go out and get pissed. Like mad or like piss drunk. Oh my god. All the innuendos and jokes in that intro. I am in fact hooked. Judea AD 33. Oh, this would have been fun to film. Everybody walk. Good job. About tea time, what does that mean? I'm American, I don't really think we have tea time here. What is tea time? We have coffee time. I have coffee time. That is promptly at 9 a.m. every single morning. And thirst to see right prevail. Said Jesus. How blessed are those whose hearts are pure. They're like, I can't hear. We need to mic this guy. Baker! <laughs> oh my god. That's not astounding. <laughs> Will you be quiet? Don't pick your nose. Digging for gold. Leave it alone. Give it a rest. Do you mind? I can't hear a word he's saying. I don't do boogers. I'm telling you right now, I don't do them. I think it was blessed are the cheesemakers. <gasps> What's so special? All hail the cheesemakers. One more time, mate. I'll take you to fucking cleaners. Language. <laughs> they had cleaners back then? <laughs> oh, the meat. Blessed are the meek! Oh, the oh, not the Greek, the meek! Your nose gonna be three foot wide across your face by the time I finish! <laughs> Go last, big brother. Oh, right, that's your last warning. Oh, do pipe down! <gasps> I should have seen that coming. <laughs> she will whoop you! Well, that, yeah, well, what Jesus blatantly fails to appreciate. They're still brawling. <laughs> He's not well again. Uh, uh. Stone, sir. Nah, they got them up there. Oh, the stuffed donkey is is not doing well. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> Wait, they all have beards. <gasps> oh, I get it. Because women are not allowed to go to these, right? So they're all wearing fake beards. And so as a blasphemer! Oh, that's Cleese. That's John Cleese, right? All I said to my wife was, that piece of halibut was good enough for Jehovah. <laughs> blasphemy! <laughs> Did you hear him? <laughs> Stone him twice. Uh... Are there any women here today? <laughs> um, uh, not all of us. Certainly not, no. <laughs> Who threw that stone? Come on! She did! She did. I mean, I mean, oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> we started. Go to the back. Oh, dear. Oh. We are all of them women dressed as dudes. I'm warning you, if you say Jehovah once more! Oh. <laughs> Who threw that? He's looking in the wrong direction. Him, him. Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good job! No, but he is my favorite. Have I got a big nose, Mum? Oh, stop thinking about sex! <laughs> And that statue seems to have Did lost his private Did parts. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go back and hear that line again. Morning, noon, and night. Oh, morning, noon, and night. Oh, the girls like that. Is it too big? 
エジテンスト Arms for l e p e r Arms for an ex l e p e r This reminds me of Bear, Come, some, find your dad. Bring out your dad. That's it, that's what it is. Bring out your dad. Buzz off! Spare a talent for an old ex l e p e r I pulled the ear into the mouth! Off talent then. Now go away! The skipping. Now piss off! You sure? <laughs> you, you sure though? Alright, so my final offer, I'll be back off for an old ex l e p e r Did you say. Ex leper? Not so much as a by your leave! You're cured, mate. Bloody do gooder. <laughs> a bit lame in one leg during the middle of the week. You know, something beggable, but not leprosy. <laughs> something that'll allow me to beg. That's just what Jesus said, sir! Oh my god, the skipping was so funny. Was that, is that poop? He just skipped over some poop? I love the lines and the dialogue in this already. Your father isn't Mr. Cohen. Huh. Never thought he was. No, none of your cheek! <laughs> he was a centurion in the Roman army. Oh, the you horror. Mean, you were raped? Oh, at first, yes. Who was it? Sasses me. As much gold as I could eat. As I could eat gold? What? I'm kosher, Mum. I'm a Red Sea pedestrian and proud of it! I was gonna circle back to the whole. What did he even say? I don't even know. So much just happened. <laughs> that was a lot of information. <laughs> oh, it was the at first. Colosseum, Jerusalem. Children's matinee. Yes, very family friendly. Mm hmm. Well, at least this job seems to pay well and just shove it on in there. Jaguar the Elope. Ew. Wolf nipple chips. Get them while they're on. Wolf nipple chips. Or woman. Or woman. To rid himself. Or herself. Or herself. Agreed. Okay. Or sister. Or sister. Absolutely. Where was I? <laughs> From now on, I want you all to call me Loretta. Loretta. You want to have babies? It's every man's right to have babies if he wants them. But you can't have babies. <laughs> Don't touch me. I'm not pressing you, Stan. You haven't got a womb. <laughs> Where's the fetus going to just take? You're going to keep it in a box? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to put it in a box? <laughs> babies, brother. Sister. Sorry. What's the point? He's trying not to laugh. Symbolic of his struggle against reality. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that was a great scene. That was so funny. Back then, too, they thought of that. That was, that was fantastic. All right, do laps. All right, bag of otters, noses in. Make it two. Two. Thanks. How would they even collect that? Are you that? the Judean people's front? Fuck off. <laughs> Judean <laughs> people's front. Come <laughs> Wankers. Oh, wankers. I love that word. And the people's front of Judea. Yes. Splitters. What? The people's front of Judea. Splitters. We're the people's oh, front of uh, Judea. Yeah, I was going to say. Whatever happened to the pop in the front? Eh? He's over there. Not just by himself. Yeah! <laughs> and they're still going. I think I'm about to have a cardiac arrest. <laughs> just like the animator <laughs> from Holy Grail. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> He's like, oh, I win. <laughs> no, I didn't have to do shit. <laughs> Statue's got a dingling. Roman. Oh, you're dead. People call Romanes, they go the house. It it says Romans go home. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What's Latin for Roman? <laughs> yeah, imperative. 
Which is? Um, 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 eat. How eat. many Romans? I did not see the grammar lesson coming. Understand? Yes, sir. Now, write out under times. Yes, sir. <laughs> this turned into detention. Is he still going? Oh, he did say write it a hundred times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks kind of cool, though. That is art. <laughs> He's like, who did this? Couldn't be me. What exactly are the demands? We're giving Pilate two days to dismantle the- I keep reading that as Pilates. <laughs> from our father's 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 Let's face it, the only ones who could in a place like this. <laughs> so wait, what are they fighting against again? <laughs> Wine, public order, irrigation, roads, a fresh water system and public health. Yeah. What have the Romans ever done for us? Oh, clearly nothing. Oh, peace. <laughs> Peanut gallery over there. There is not one of us here who would not gladly suffer death to rid this country of the Romans once and for all. Uh, yeah. Well, one. Yeah, <laughs> I was waiting for that. From now on, you shall be called Brian, that is called Brian. Brian, that is called Brian. Founder of the PFJ will be coordinating consultant at the drain head. PFJ. I read it, and I think PB and J. Peanut butter and jelly. This has just been retiled, so terrorists, careful with those weapons. <laughs> to get out is prom. Ooh, wow. That's some artwork. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna destroy it too. Ooh. <laughs> he removes the leaf. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, and he perfectly carved it out too. Is that a heartbeat? Campaign for free Galilee. Oh, uh... Okay. We're not gonna talk about that heartbeat sound that just stopped? You bastards, we've been planning this for months! Oh, tough titty for you, fish face! Yeah, tough titty for you. <laughs> I'm totally sure they said that back then. <laughs> no, you're not gonna intervene? Brian's the one left standing. <laughs> oh, what is this, a torture chamber? <laughs> At least he has a room all to himself. You lucky, lucky bastard. Oh, never mind. I sometimes ain't awake at night dreaming of being spat in the face. Is that also John Cleese? He has all the best roles. They must think the sun shines out of your ass, Sonny. <laughs> Crucifixion? Crucifixion? Yeah. First offense. First offense. <laughs> ah. Oh, look at that! Bloody favoritism! <laughs> wants to see you. Me? Come on! No, there's Cleese. I think he wants to know which one you want to be crucified. Oh! Ha 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 ha! Shut up! Right, right. right. <laughs> Terrific race, the Romans. Terrific. <laughs> that was amazing. That guy so reminded me of the one dude who shows up so briefly during the song in Holy Grail. Um, oh my gosh, what was it? The Knights of the Round Table, something, 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 wherever we're able. And then it cuts to him, like, to a guy like that. <laughs> He's swinging and hanging there. 
I watched my video over again and I saw that part again and it made me laugh so hard. I think that scene, that one like little two second clip from Holy Grail is one of the best highlights. Touch of living do. Oh, uh, about 11, sir. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? You dare to wade us. <laughs> Jewish rapscallion. Oh, what a great word. A woman? No, no, Rome. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Nautius Maximus. <laughs> Nautius Maximus. Like, uh... Or biggest dickers, sir. Biggest dickers. <laughs> I have a very great friend in Rome called Biggest Dickers. <laughs> Can I go now, sir? Ah! Oh my gosh, the slapping. Which of biggest dickers hears of this? Which of biggest dickers hears of this? <laughs> biggest. Trying so hard not to actually laugh. <laughs> he has a wife, you know. Oh no, what's her you name? Know what she's called? Oh, please tell me. Please tell me. Incontinentia. Incontinentia <laughs> buttocks. <laughs> Incontinentia nose and then sees him oh my gosh the the lines and the delivery in this is so good i'm so sad they didn't use the wilhelm scream there what the heck is happening okay yeah didn't see that coming Star Wars and Monty Python, the collab I didn't know I needed. You know what their eyeballs look like? A baby's arm holding an apple. A biggest dickus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. I had to go there. <laughs> I love this movie. Yeah. This is a good one. I loved that little detour, whatever the heck that was. The things possessed by their fathers that their fathers put there only just the night before, about 8 o'clock. <laughs> Us, whenever like we'd move our parents' stuff around. <laughs> Where was it? I put it right there on the back of that chair the night before, and now it's not there. So quit moving my stuff. <laughs> Look at it. Feel the quality. That's not in your goat. All right, I'll give you 19 then. He wants he wants him to haggle down? Come on, haggle. All right, I'll give you 10. That's more like it. Wow. 10? Are you trying to insult me? <gasps> me with a poor dying grandmother? 15. 17. My last word. I won't take a penny less or... He already said 17. 16. Done. I'll do business with you. <laughs> I would say that was easy, but it wasn't. That's four for the gourd. Four? For this gourd? Four. Oh no, not again. Ten for that, you must be mad. <laughs> it's just gonna be Brian. Yeah, like I said. Red, go away! It's like, I see you guys. Oh. Silly person. God! <laughs> no way, hold on. I gotta pause that because silly person, that's another line from Monty Python, a holy grail that I absolutely love. I think he delivers it too. You sons of a silly person. I say that all the damn time. John Cleese had all the best lines in Holy Grail. No? 
crucifixion. Oh. Oh, that's it? Pfft, Nasty, eh? Could be worse. <laughs> well, at least it gets you out in the open air. <laughs> bright side, you know. There's a bright side to everything. Well, don't worry, you've not seen the last of us. Weirdo. <laughs> Big nose. Watch it. <laughs> I love the insults that they're using because they clearly didn't use that back then. No one's calling anyone a weirdo. Flattening. Oh, back on the balcony. Oh, he's going over this time. Mmm, yep. Crucifixion's a doddle. Don't keep saying that. <laughs> we'll be back, oddball. <laughs> they're gonna come back a third time. So we got weirdo, oddball. You haven't given us time to hide. <gasps> oh. Don't pass judgment on other people or else you might get judged too. And here the TED Talks were born. <laughs> How much do you want for the good? I don't even you have it. Have it? Yes. Can you, you got a haggle. No, 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 no. Don't you want a haggle? No. <laughs> Oh, I love how they circled back to that joke. They got jobs? Who? Oh, the birds. At the b Great movie, the birds. So the point is, there were these two servants. He's making it up as he goes and- <laughs> They're like hecklers at a comedy show. It's so funny. Oh, oh, there were stewards. Oh, 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 oh. And he's still trying to haggle. It is his gourd. We will carry it for you, master. <laughs> You forgot your gourd. Together in abundance. Cast off the what? shoes, follow the gourd. No. <laughs> the the gourd. Cast it away. There's like gourd, there's shoes. What is more sacred, the shoes or the gourd? Where are we going? I am. Let us. Let us pray. <laughs> let us. Let us pray. Like the siege of the grave. <laughs> He's alright. Uh, alright, I'm gone. Oh, poor Brian, being chased by his fan club. And then stealing people's shoes along the way. Hey, move over. Sound has passed my lips. Could you be quiet for another five minutes? Oh, I don't I'm surprised he can talk at all. Message. There is no food in this high mountain. Well, what about the juniper bushes over there? How did that guy survive for 18 years? What was he eating? I say those are my juniper bushes. <laughs> oh, we have our answer. Bloody got to eat. <gasps> wow. Is the hair down there part of his beard or? Touch him. I was blind and now I can see. Oh. oh. Never mind. Tell them to stop it. I haven't said a word for 18 years to him. <laughs> I say you are, Lord, and I should know I followed a few. <laughs> I am not the Messiah, do you understand? Honestly. <laughs> you have the wrong guy. I am the Messiah. He is. He is. He is the <laughs> How shall we fuck off, oh lord? Oh, just go away, leave me alone! <laughs> no, he's not! Ah! An unbeliever! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 
he broke his silence and died all on the same day. Brian? Judith? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what happened here? Oh, yeah, yes. a lot of butt cheek in this one. Okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. They left nothing to the imagination. Now stop calling my son. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> they call this stalking. <laughs> There's a mess, all right. <laughs> Nothing, Mum. Come on, out of it. Well, they think I'm the Messiah, Mum. They saw his sacred juniper berries, if you catch my drift. Oh, let me explain, Mrs. Collins. Who? Your son. Oh, leader. Those people out there are following him because they believe in him, Mrs. Collins. They believe he can give them hope. Hope of a new life. Wow. A better future. Same, dude. Yeah, same. That's my face, exactly. <laughs> He's not the Messiah, he's a very naughty boy! He's a very... <laughs> he's a very naughty boy! <laughs> oh, I can get used to that. Leave that Welsh tart alone! I don't really want to. Uh... Cover up your twig and berries. Oh, thank God. Yes. You all got to work it out for yourself. Yeah. What a great message. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe he should be the Messiah. Ooh, that wasn't <laughs> oh, yes, it was. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Are you a virgin? If it's not a personal question, how much more personal can you get? Stop piss off! I have a son. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Lay your hands on here, quick! Now don't jostle the chosen one, please! Don't jostle the chosen one. I say, could he just see my wife? She has a headache. Oh, she has a headache. Of all ailments. Possessed by devils, try and keep them under control of me, can you? <laughs> <laughs> The incurables are gonna have to wait a couple minutes. Brian? You're very attractive. Our revolution. We oh, so that's Judith, right? Right. Lady who was previously naked. You're fucking nicked me, old beauty. Right. Huh. Slap the back of his head. 139, sir. Special celebration. Passover, sir. <laughs> nice round number, eh, Biggers? <laughs> oh, biggest dick is that's him! I'm surprised to hear a man like you rattled by a wabble of waddy wibbles. Wabble of waddy wibbles. <laughs> oh, oh, we almost got a shot of his biggest dickers. Oh, I agree. This is a complete waste of time. Oh, that scared me. Oh. Well, obviously, you weren't supposed to be in take your call act on a resolution till you broke it. Reg! <laughs> Something's actually happening, Reg! Can't you understand? Oh! <laughs> we don't have time for voting. <laughs> yep. Hello. Another little ego trip from the feminists. <laughs> Crucifixion? Yes. Good. He's definitely a favorite character of mine. Crucifixion? Uh, no, freedom. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, freedom for me. They said I hadn't done anything. That wasn't on the agenda for today.
Well, off you go then. Nah, I'm only pulling your leg. It's crucifixion, really. No. <laughs> Yeah, on the way, out the door, one line cross each, line on the left. Line on the left. <laughs> yes. Good. Good. Oh my god. To release a wanderer from our prison. <laughs> He's giving <laughs> the guy from Princess Bride marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. We have no watcher. <laughs> well, what about Waterwick, man? Yeah! yeah! Waterwick! Just some uh, Jewish jokes, sir. <laughs> Are they wagging me? No, no. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Waterwick to whom you were far? He's a warmer! He's <laughs> <It's> a warmer! <laughs> She messed it up. Mm -mm. Oh, no. uh, good oh. idea, because <laughs> Ninety... Ninety-six, sir. No. Okay. I know when to get it if you want it. What? What? Hear him say he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. No, he's dead. no, what? What? Dead, um, mate, sir. Well, how did he get the job? <laughs> Get a move on, big nose. There's people waiting to be crucified out here. <laughs> He's very eager about this. Shut up, you miserable bloody Romans. No sense of humour. <laughs> this man commands. They've cracked legion. <laughs> this guy can't command anything. Jammy bastard. Was that the guy from the jail cell earlier? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, how nice of you. Oh. Not my cross. Shut up! Get on with it! <laughs> <laughs> he had you there, mate, didn't he? He's another favorite of mine, too. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. I wouldn't have nothing to do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's also got the most fashionable tunic. No, no, no. Oh, come on! Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, get on with the story. Well, I think she never did. Oh, my God. <laughs> he told it. <laughs> oh, bloody Roman. Watch it. <laughs> you cross his left. <laughs> Hands up. All those who don't want to be crucified here. Oh, oh, awkward. I was at uh, holding it for someone. Just lie um, down, I haven't got all day. No, of course. Um, the classic, it's not mine, I was holding it for a friend. See, not so bad, watch your map. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, my brother usually rescues me. They've been keep usually rescues? Randy, little bug, I've them down like the Assyrian Empire. <laughs> okay, he might be my new number one favorite. Bridge, what are you going to do? Goodbye, Brian, and thanks. So no saving. Terrific work, Brian. Well, so much for them. And, and so, so say all of us. us. And so say all of. <laughs> I'm Brian of Nazareth. What? Yeah, I, I'm Brian of Nazareth. Take that. I'm Brian of Nazareth. I'm Brian. I'm Brian. I'm Brian. I'm Brian. I'm Brian and so's my wife. Oh, no. Right, take him away and release him. No, I'm only joking. I'm not really Brian. He's so bad. Oh, no, it was a joke. I'm only pulling your leg. He wants to go back up. I'm not him. I'm just having you on. <laughs> Damn it, Brian. <laughs> Wait, are they all saved? Suicide Squad! Suicide Squad! Suicide Squad? <laughs> 
before DC made it cool. Oh. That showed him, huh? Oh yeah. You got him. Nice. Ryan! Ryan! Judith. Reg has explained it all to me, and I think it's great what you're doing. Oh no. Thank you, Brian. I'll, I'll oh, never no. forget you. She was the only one with sense. That's a shame. Sorry, Brian. Be crucified! See if I care. I might have known that I was sick. Man, all young people are sick now, and I don't know what the world's coming to. I heard something like, all oh, young people, something, something, something. <laughs> that grumble. Give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for the best. Why do I know this? Always look on the bright side of life. Bada, 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 bada. I know this song. Always look on the light side of life. Bada, 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 bada. <laughs> There's something you've forgotten. And that's to laugh and smile. The dance and sing. I know this song. Your lips and whistle, that's the thing. Hey. Always look on the bright side of life. Better, 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 better. <laughs> How do I know this song, you ask? I will let you know in a minute. I have to enjoy this. And that's the final word. You must always face the curtain with a bow. <laughs> Enjoy it. It's your last chance at it. I had no idea where this song was from. I certainly didn't think it was from a Monty Python movie. Just before you draw your terminal breath. This is so morbid. <laughs> but so funny. Oh man. Love is on you and always look on the bright side of life. Do 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 always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> As they're all being crucified. <laughs> oh my god. The right side of life. That was the surprise I needed to see today. Nothing will come from nothing, you know what I say? <laughs> oh, that was so good. Yeah. Yeah, this is my top. This is my favorite Monty Python movie so far. Always look on the Brian side of life. Getting to how I know that song, always look on the bright side of life. Well, some of you may know, others who don't know, this will not be surprising to you whatsoever. But in high school, I was a part of a show choir group. I was in it for about three years and every year, they would do like a girl's and a guy's specific number. And I think it was my first year being in that group when I was a sophomore. So I, I was little, I was very, very young. <laughs> and the guy's number for that year was Bright Side of Life. And I had no idea where it came from, but I have heard that song so many times. At one point, I knew that song like the back of my hand, forwards, backwards. But besides the song itself, the most memorable thing about that number that they did was how all of my friends acted it out. They were so funny. And thinking back, they probably all had seen this movie at the time. But now I'm really glad to have context and to have the origin story behind that song. Also, what I said there at the very end rings very true. This is my favorite Monty Python movie. Don't get me wrong, I loved the Holy Grail, but this one was very different. Holy Grail felt more like a skit show, where this one had a really nice 
plot that was very easy to follow. Besides the French guy from Holy Grail, I think this one also had more memorable characters with Julius Caesar, Biggest Dickus. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite. That's going in my personal Hall of Fame. You had Brian, of course. I loved the main Roman guard, also played by John Cleese, and this one, he stood out way more. I think he played like three or four different roles. If I think back to Holy Grail, even though I know John Cleese played a ton of those roles, when I was first watching it, I had a harder time picking up on who exactly he was playing besides one of the main guys from the main group and then the French guy at the top of the tower. It's still to this day. I think that is my favorite character out of all of the Monty Pythons but this one is my favorite movie. Anyway, I absolutely loved this movie from the very beginning to the very end. I thought the ending to Holy Grail was good with the abrupt ending and no credits, just a black screen the whole time, which had me convinced that something was gonna happen and I held out until the last second. But I think this ending tops it because of that song and because of the entire predicament that was going on, they're literally singing about the bright side of life as they're all <laughs> being crucified on a cross. They are one of the best comedy troops I've ever seen, and also probably one of the only comedy troops I've ever seen. I think all that's left now is the other Monty Python movie, I think it's called The Meaning of Life. I know that there's a show and a lot of people have recommended me to watch the show. If I do, I don't know if I'm gonna react to it on the channel. We'll see though, never say never. So much to watch, so little time. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button as well to get notified for all future videos. I don't know if I addressed the balloons in the background, but yeah, um, my other channel just recently hit 100k subscribers. It has been a whirlwind 24 hours. I'm still riding the high from all the excitement and Maybe one day this channel will also hit 100k subscribers as well. Maybe it'll happen soon. Maybe that's something that'll happen in the distant future. Either way, I'm gonna enjoy the journey. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.